Today we are talking about the new Microsoft Xbox One X. If you missed the unboxing of the Xbox One X, I will leave a link to that down in the description as well, along with the card up here. So you can check that out to take a look at what's inside the box. But as I said today, we're going over the top five features of the new Xbox One X. It comes out in about five days. There are a lot of people out there wondering if it's worth the money. So let's talk about what sets it apart from all other video game consoles. And I'll start with a feature that you can enjoy even on a 1080p display, and that is super sampling. Super sampling is a feature that most people don't know about or even understand, and that's mostly because Microsoft hasn't really talked about it all that much. Now, according to Microsoft, super sampling improves how the space around in-game characters look. That is, characters look like they're part of the environment instead of being on top of the environment. Because super sampling works with high definition televisions, there's no need to spend money on an expensive 4K TV when you're not sure how much 4K gaming you might be doing on the system. So if you haven't upgraded to a 4K TV yet and are still running a 1080p TV set, you're still good. The Xbox One X will put out a 4K image and then downsample it to a 1080p size. That means you get all those details found in the 4K image shrunk down to your 1080p display. And that's actually a vast improvement over what you get with the Xbox One S, which has trouble putting out a consistent 1080p signal and usually ends up upscaling 720p or 900p content. Up next on the list of the top five features for the Xbox One X are the Xbox One X enhanced games. And this is really what the console is all about. Just to be clear, all Xbox One games will run on the original Xbox One, on the Xbox One S, and on the Xbox One X as well. There are no games that only work on the Xbox One X. However, games that have been Xbox One X enhanced have some extra tricks up their sleeve when you play them on the Xbox One X console. The Xbox One X has a more powerful processor and graphics card thanks to the Scorpio engine when compared to the original Xbox One and the Xbox One X. Older consoles just don't have the power it takes to render a game in 4K. That's because 4K visuals are four times as detailed as typical 1080p high definition. Developers can also choose to use the power in other ways. Instead of 4K, they can do a 1440p output at a steady 60 frames per second, for example. The original renders games in normal resolution and then upscales them to 1080p, while the Xbox One S takes the game's standard resolution and upscales it to fill a 4K television. Meanwhile, the Xbox One X does all of this natively with no need to upscale at all. Moving on to number three on my list of top five features of the Xbox One X, let's talk about faster load time. And this is another thing that anybody is gonna be able to take advantage of regardless of the resolution of your television. The Xbox One S has eight gigabytes of GDDR3 RAM. It also has a 5400 RPM spinning hard disk drive on the inside. Compare that to the Xbox One X, that has a 7200 RPM spinning drive, much faster, and it has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM, so it's faster RAM, and it's increased by 50%. At the end of the day, what that means is your game assets are gonna load much faster. Less time sitting around watching load screens, more time getting into and playing your games. Now it should be stated that this applies to on-disk assets. Any loading components that need to be downloaded from the cloud, downloaded from the internet, the Xbox One X isn't gonna do that any faster. It doesn't improve the speed of your internet service, but what it will do is load any local assets a lot faster. And that is a win for everybody. Up next, number four on my list, HDR, high dynamic range. HDR to me is one of the biggest new technologies to hit displays in a long time. To me, HDR is even more important than the leap to 4K. With a 4K HDR TV, you get the full native resolution with the HDR picture in supported titles. HDR stands for high dynamic range. That means you get blacker blacks, you get wider whites, and you get more vibrant colors. At the end of the day, a wider dynamic range just makes everything look more vibrant and real. And HDR actually works in multiple places. It works in games that support HDR. It works directly in the 4K Blu-ray disc player built into the Xbox One X. And side note, the Xbox platform is the only platform to offer that feature. And it also works in supported streaming services that have HDR content like Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. It also should be said that even though this is one of the top five features on the Xbox One X, the Xbox One S also supports HDR 
in the same way. And last on my list for the top five features of the Xbox One X, and this one is a software feature and it's probably the only software feature that's different on the Xbox One X when compared to other Xbox One consoles. And that is 4K Game DVR. If you're unfamiliar, Game DVR allows you to capture your game, record moments, record gaming sessions, and then download them, publish them to Mixer, publish them to YouTube, publish them on social media, basically sharing those moments of gaming recorded right on your console. The problem in the past has been that the Xbox One and Xbox One S would capture video clips, but they wouldn't be in that high of a quality. When you shared them, they would look a little fuzzy. With the Xbox One X, you're getting true 4K recording. It's gonna record your game clips in a native resolution. So when you upload them to YouTube, let's say, you'll get it uploaded in full 4K resolution. For people that like sharing their game clips with friends, that is a major win. And it just shows the power of what the Xbox One X can do. So there you have it guys, that was my look at the top five features of Microsoft's upcoming Xbox One X. Again, if you didn't see the unboxing, link down below. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like on this video.